Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am actually in the middle of filming my full phase of new products, but I decided to go ahead and do like a little quick side review of a product that I have been asked to use and try out and let you guys know whether or not it's a good product for someone who has skin as deep as mine and also deeper okay so from this video that i'm actually filming which is me trying out full face of new products i have just i realize okay that some products cannot be finessed and not everything you use is going to work out for you so hopefully this works out because so let's go ahead and jump into the laura mercier translucent powders we're going to try out both the honey and the medium deep so you can figure out which one works best for you Okay, so I have here the two Laura Mercier powders. We have the medium deep and the honey. So for today's video, I'm going to use it the way that I normally use my setting powder, which is tapping into it and and then setting my face. So I'm gonna do one side translucent medium deep and the other side the honey powder. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and try the powders again, but this time I'm gonna do it on a regular base. The first time I tried it, the foundation I had used was a little off, so I feel like it threw off the results of the powders. So this time I'm gonna do it on like my regular foundation and a regular base, and we're gonna see how it looks today, okay? So let's go ahead and see what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna blend in my concealer and then um, apply the setting powder and we'll come I'll do the same thing I'll apply the translucent medium deep on this side and I'll apply the honey on this side and the rest of my face and then we're gonna see what it looks like at the end of the video okay hypothesis I really don't think the honey is going to look good on my skin tone um, I know people have used it and say that it's beautiful powder and that they love it and it's amazing I am I am just skeptical when it comes to setting powders because whenever I started doing Whenever I started doing makeup, no matter how nice my base is, like my base looks very, very good right now, the problem is that the setting powder always ends up changing how my base looks, okay? So this is the difference between the two, okay? So this is the honey and this is the medium deep. I mean, you can clearly see they're two different shades. So I'm tapping into it. And I'm only using one side of the brush. My hands are ashy because I washed them. Let me put some lotion because it's starting to look uncomfortable. It doesn't look bad. <laughs> the me medium deep side does not look bad at all right now. And I want to keep it under eyes only so, so we're gonna be able to compare, okay? Okay, so this is the medium deep setting powder. I'm gonna go in with the honey setting powder on this side of my face. Does it look brighter? This one definitely has a little bit more color than this side of my face. I can see that. If I was using my regular powder, this is how I would use it. That's why I'm using it the same way as I would use my regular powder. I don't want it to be like favoritism for lack of a better word. So I'm gonna take the other side of the brush and I'm gonna go into the honey powder and I'm gonna tap it into my under eye. Oh my God. I'm really not using a lot after <laughs> I almost applied some to the side of my face it doesn't the honey this is the honey side it, so this is the honey side and let me add a little bit of powder under my eyes on this side as well this is what we're working with right now it doesn't look half as bad as I thought it would look 
It's not a yellow setting powder. It's a translucent honey powder. This is what that looks like. It does not look bad. I am going to actually go ahead and finish my face and then I'll come back and let you guys know what I think about it. It definitely doesn't look like what I thought it would look like. So I'm putting the rest of the honey setting powder on the parts where I placed my concealer so I can set the, I guess, the rest of my face with the honey so I can give you a more, um, I guess, precise a final thoughts on this. It has really shocked me. I, okay, Laura Mercier. I don't know. Um, I prefer, which one do I prefer? I don't know. I'm going to leave both of them alone. So this is the medium deep side. This is the honey side. I am going to set the rest of my face and finish my makeup. And I'll come back, let you guys know what I think. This is gonna be like one of those really quick reviews that I'm gonna do in the middle of filming something. If I'm filming something that I feel like you guys wanna see, individually on its own i will literally break away from what i'm doing so i can come and um so i can come and let you guys know what i think about it but this is what my face looks like i don't know i'll let you guys know for straight off the bat it looks to me like it's a little ashy, okay? But let me finish my whole face so I can have a better representation of what I think um, about it because I don't know how it's gonna look once I add my contour and my blush and all of that. So let's go ahead, let's just, let's go ahead and do that. Let's, this one, Okay guys, so this is my finished look um, with everything on because I wanted to see what the powder looks like with everything on. I'm not upset with it. I did not think this is how it was gonna look. However, I do feel like the powders don't have like enough color in them for lack of a better word. I don't know how to explain it. I really, really honestly thought it was going to be too ashy and of course, but actually finishing the whole routine i don't mind it once again this is the medium this is the translucent medium deep side and this is the honey side let me know if you guys see a difference in the two sides of my face i i don't see a difference i think i don't see a difference so this is a translucent deep side and this is the honey side you can definitely tell that the honey side is more I don't know which side I like better. So this is what we look like standing in front of a mirror, I mean a window, um, and it's not facing the sun, so I can't see the sun is like overexposing my face. This is what it looks like. Let me know what you think, because I, I don't know. It definitely brightens my face like a lot, a lot, lot, lot more than I, um, than I've ever done. This is the honey side and this is the translucent medium deep side. You can definitely tell that the translucent medium deep side has like a slight golden look to it. Then the honey side, this is the honey side, but you can tell it has like a slight golden look to it compared to the honey side. It's not bad. It looks very, very good. Okay, you guys, so I've done a natural light test and this is me back under the studio lights. I definitely prefer the translucent medium deep side over the honey side. The honey side looks bright, yes. I was gonna say the honey side looks brighter, but this is the honey side. The translucent medium deep side looks brighter. Or maybe it's 
let me know down below in the comments if you guys see a difference between the two because I don't think I see a difference between the two. Whenever I initially put it down, I felt like the honey side was a bit brighter than the um, than the other side. But you know what, this is what it looks like if you were ever trying to see what it looks like on a dark skinned person. This is what it looks like. Let me know down below in the comments what you think about it. I will probably most definitely, definitely be using it again in another video so I can see how I feel about it with a different base. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below in the comments if you've tried it and what you think about it. And if you're gonna, and if you haven't yet tried it, let me know what you think still, okay? Let me know if this has helped you decide whether or not you're going to pick it up because I really can't say get this one. I feel like it all depends on what kind of look you're going for. But for me, I would, you know, start using the translucent medium deep more than I have been. But that's it for this video. Thank, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, because we just hit 50K. Thank you guys so much for 50K gems. It is, it's taken me three years to get to 50K, okay? So thank you guys so, so, so much. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.